Hi and welcome to my channel. Now today's video is about me changing the op amps in this Philips 360 CD360 player which is identical apart from a few different features uh, as the CD160 player. So this is the player I'm going to be mucking about with just for today. This is really a quick video uh, because I can't really do a lot at the moment. This is a video uh, also to let you know that I'm probably not going to be around for a little while now until I get everything sorted out around the house. As you know, I'll keep on about it, but it's finally going to happen. Uh, we're finally going to get the kitchen done, and the missus wants and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it, we've had to move everything out. And I've got doors. If I just spin this round, I've got a door here. And if I, I don't think you can see the stuff on the floor, so it's pretty pointless. But I've got all stuff down here. I've got chairs over there. Can't do any more repair when I do anything now. Because I've got a chair there. Hopefully I'm back in and you can see the CD player as well. So it'd be unfair for me to audition stuff because I've got signals bouncing about everywhere and we've had to move stuff in the living room, the kitchen table and cabinets and other bits and pieces. So it's pretty much the same there. But lucky enough, I just squeezed them dead speakers in without all this. This has literally come up today. Uh, I did change, I've done the video, uh, actually the recording uh, of this, uh, which you're going to see in a, pre a previous video. The recording's in the previous video of this demonstration. Uh, I did that yesterday and since then everything's been moved up so I haven't had a chance to actually listen to it properly through amplifiers and speakers myself. I had a quick listen on the old headphones but uh, I haven't had much time but I thought I'd leave you with this because uh, I'm not going to get time now to actually listen to that. It's going to be something that I'm going to listen to later on. But also I wanted a few ideas, maybe some other chips I can use uh, as a replacement for this chip. I know you can do hundreds and hundreds of different mods to this player. Uh, if you go on different forums and that, the CD160 amongst other players obviously but uh, you can change the power supply caps, the uh, coupling caps. Uh, there's so many different things you can do. People are doing and done and get different results, all that kind of stuff. But I thought it'd just be a bit of fun uh, for me just to change the op amps here from these old op amps to uh, a relatively new one these days, seeing what the difference is, uh, seeing we can hear any differences and all that. Now, I'm going to leave you with that track, like I say, or I've left you with that track. Uh, whether you can hear the difference yourself, I do not know because you can have the YouTube compression getting in the way as well and it'll depend on your headphones or your, what you're listening it to. But it'd be interesting to uh, hear what you think about it. Like I say, it'd be unfair for me to say anything yet because I haven't had a real listen and I'm not going to get a chance to. But it's, it's a video that I can tell you that I'm not going to be around for a little bit. or do an iPhone, maybe I'll squeeze an odd um, game one somehow, but I've not got a lot of room there. The room's completely packed now. But I will be around. I can get to my PC. That's one good thing. So I can, any questions or anything like that. I can still get to and I can still hunt around eBay for any stuff. I've not got much room to put it if I do buy something. So hopefully nothing important comes up there that I want. But anyway, here's the player. This is the 360, but it's identical to this 160. There's the board that uh, I changed the two ICs on. They're just there, the two ICs. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of them ICs there on the board. There's the old ones. And uh, as you can see, all I've done is took them out, uh, put two sockets in there, and put these two new ones in. Like I say, these are the LME. 4970 uh, NA. Now, um, so let's just get that right. LME49720 uh, NA. Now, I put them in sockets, and some people say that this will uh, interfere the oscillation of that because this board is all shielded, as you can see. If you look carefully, all the track, uh, the actual copper track is literally all over the board uh, on this side, shielding everything, getting everything as close to the board as they possibly can. So there's no interference or anything like that. So I've raised them off the board a little bit, which probably don't help. Some people say it don't help. Uh, so that's just something maybe to bear in mind. But that gives me a chance to change a few different ICs, have a little bit of a muck about. Um, maybe, like I say, when you uh, come up with some others, maybe a few who's got some ideas. Uh, at the moment, it's just this chip here I'll change. It doesn't cost me a lot. I think it was five or six pound each. I can't quite remember now. I ordered them a little while ago now. But there they are. They're in the board, in the socket. Uh, once I find the ones I like, uh, I shall take them sockets out and solder them ICs directly to the board. So that's it. Now to get in this play I've just undone the four screws at the side just in case anyone's thinking about doing this but be careful like these connectors here, these uh, all these connectors here which you have to take out some of them. Uh, these ribbon cables are quite fragile so um, they can break, these wires can snap off. So don't put them out by the wires, make sure you actually get the socket, the actual ribbon connector itself and pull that out rather than pull it by the wires even though you've loosened it, um, you're going to pull the wires out. They're quite brittle. They're not over brittle, but they're quite brittle, so be careful. Yeah, once you've done this, two screws here. There's one screw at the back here, uh, right near the uh, RCA. Uh, if I just tilt it down near the RCA sockets, there's one more screw there. Then all I've done with this board, literally, was uh, put it that way. I pulled it backwards, 
so it goes in the bottom and a bit of space because you've got a big heat sink here that's got to fit between this plastic and I pulled it out this end and pulled it out then I can get it on the bench use some solder braiding a 30 watt iron uh, so hopefully I weren't going to damage the original ICs got them out uh, then put that little socket in and then I could just put in the other ICs willy nilly swap them over do what I want etc just make sure when you do do it I've got a little arrow there you can, hopefully you can see that uh, point in the directions that the IC should be facing. Got a little notch in the IC. It's facing that way, so I know which way the IC is going. Oh, pardon me. Don't want to put it in the wrong way and blow them straight away. That'd be no good. So that's it. So I've left you with two recordings and a previous uh, video to this. I'm going to leave a link there. I have a link at the top if you want to go and have a look at that. Make your mind up. You know, what do you think of that particular recording? How good the recording is, is obviously with that compression, like I probably mentioned. All that kind of stuff my uh, recording equipment but it's just one jazz track to have a listen to uh, and when I get a chance uh, you know get stuff back up I shall uh, come back and uh, give, kind of give you my thoughts uh, I, I want to proper listen to them I'm just not going to be able to do it now uh, and in the meantime also if there's any suggestions I may be able to buy a couple of others and get them ready uh, to have a little swap about with as well get them ordered in and have a little listen okay so that's it so that's the uh, Philips 160 strokes 360 CD player just me changing the op amps of them uh, until uh, you see me again uh, with another i5 video which like I say could be a little while now but I will be back I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon